Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. Well, hey, our NAB 2013 coverage is continuing, and... Um, you know, we're just kind of wandering through the parking garage here. We ran into our friend Brad Weston, who uh, didn't get a booth. I spent a lot of time in parking lots. Yeah, I noticed that. And you didn't get a booth this year, so you're just kind of wandering around, you know, just parking garage. people, random people. Yeah. You know, because anybody can use... Uh, we're, we're trying to get our, our stuff in every household in America. Yeah, well, it's Every, so, Everybody needs a copy of ProPresenter. It's so easy to use. Right, exactly. exactly. That anybody can use it. And so you're just kind of wandering the uh, the parking lot at Main Street Station here in uh, downtown Las Vegas. And uh, so... Downtown Long... It really is. Yeah. Very nice. And <laughs> we're gonna run over here in a minute. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, we have a uh, we do have a great new product to show you. This was renounced, uh, renounced, announced. <laughs> I don't think we've renounced it yet. <laughs> Not yet. It was announced uh, a week ago, and uh, so we're gonna get to take a look at the new Pro Video Server, Server. which Correct. has the same initials as Pro Video Sync. Sync yes. But it's an all new product. Correct. Uh, so Pro Video Sync was designed specifically for churches that were actually creating satellite uh, church campuses. It was designed for originally my church, North Point Community Church. Uh, um, so that they could actually take a wide shot, high definition shot of the stage, project that onto a at the remote campus onto a large uh, screen that filled the stage. Yeah. Um, so you'd have that wide shot in addition to the iMag shots, the elbows up, uh, waist up shots that were on the side screens to kind of create the illusion at the remote campus that there was in fact a six foot tall right. preacher walking around on the stage. And so that's been a product that's been in use by a lot of different satellite church campuses throughout the country uh, for the last eight years. And it was just designed to do that. So anytime that anybody else asks us what Pro Video Sync was, you know, we just said, well, are you a church with a satellite campus? Because if the answer is no, then there's, there's, it's really not for you. Um, and it's done its job very well. It's been very, uh, very popular with those churches. Um, as a matter of fact, yesterday we met with a church that's had it for eight years, and they're still using the same Power Mac G5s that we originally uh, did it on. But um, as times have changed, codecs have changed. So we're now, but whereas before we were using DVC Pro and, and DVC Pro HD as the codecs, now everybody is using ProRes. And instead of running uh, a hard disk from place to place, people want to be able to transfer files over the internet. Well, you're using ProRes, even in ProRes LT. Yeah. The file sizes, you have a 36 gigabyte file for uh, just for one of those files. Sure. Um, and so to, to, to transfer 72 gigabytes, we're still not there to actually. So, you know, people want to use different, different code, like use H.264 because the quality can be very good and the file size is small. But we weren't able to do that in a broadcast quality output. Um, and so we decided to kind of look, uh, look at what people wanted to do, and we created uh, a new PVS, same initials, but uh, now it's Pro Video Server. Yeah. And this is a four-channel um, four channel video server that allows you to set up playlists for each one of the channels. You can actually control it from broadcast switchers, so it uses VDCP, ROS Talk, AMP protocols for actually loading and controlling uh, video clips. And uh, we're really excited about it because the, the, the whole objective is to have really, really clean video with all the different standards that are out now. We can do up, down, and cross conversion on the fly. Uh, you can basically throw any video file at this and it'll play it um, out your SDI port. So anyway. So let's take a look at it. Yeah. So here I have four different video channels, as indicated by these little columns here. Um, as a demo, I don't have an SDI display that I carry around in parking garages. Which you really should probably, if you're going to really demo it. Well, you know, my backpack's only so big. But um, anyway, so we actually have, I can see the output here. Um, and one of the things that we've added is if you actually are controlling uh, or triggering videos from a video switcher, oftentimes you'll use a double tap mechanism. So the first time that you tap the button, it will actually bring up the video and cue it. And in the old times when you were using tape, you had a slate screen. So you could actually do use confidence that, you know, when you're looking at 9 a.m. baptism one, you're actually looking at the right one. So we've actually added a slate screen method in here so you can actually see the name of the file, how it's compressed, the duration, uh, the frame rate, the whole thing. That's the first time that you would actually load it. And then the second time that you actually you know, when you actually play it, let me, oops, play it. 
and then it's already preloaded and it starts playing. And I actually like this video because it has a lot of hard cuts as the uh, title package starts up here. But you can actually see just on this laptop, I'm running four different videos and they're all playing very, very smoothly. We, we run this little uh, ball, the stutter test video as we call it inside the office just to show uh, anytime that you're gonna see any kind of frame loss, you're gonna see it in uh, horizontal movement. So that's the reason that I kind of have that running there. So you can actually see that it's, it's running very, very smoothly. Um, this is just to simulate you would actually, you know, what Pro Video Sync used to do, which is sync two different video streams together. Um, you can see that these two video streams, even though they are in fact the same video, are playing back in sync on those two different channels. Um, and again, with that, like we had in the Pro Video Sync, you could actually synchronize four different channels if you wanted to. Have audio meters on each one of the channels, uh, so you can see up to 16 different uh, um, channels of audio uh, that, that is being out through, output through the SDI. We also have the ability to, to make offsets, offset corrections on the fly. So you can do one frame offset, because oftentimes when you're playing back two video streams, one might be going through your routing system, through your video switcher that's going to add latency, um, but then one signal is going to go directly to the projector. So if you're going through a lot of signal processing equipment with one signal, that's going to add delay. So that offset allows you to, in real time, as you're visually looking at the output, it allows you to adjust it on a frame-by-frame frame basis so you can get those two videos uh, visually in sync. So that is um, basically it, our Pro Video Sync product, I'm sorry, Pro Video Server product to replace Pro Video Sync. Um, and, and again, we're really excited about it, whereas Pro Video Sync we, serve, we sold as a turnkey sort of appliance system, including all the hardware and software. This, because of all the great soft, uh, hardware that is available, we're going to be able to offer it uh, as, as software only, and you can buy however many channels you need. And the great thing is, is that I could do this potentially uh, off of a laptop or off of an iMac, perhaps even a Mac Mini if you're just doing one or two channels, yeah. using a Thunderbolt output to the various devices that are available via Thunderbolt. So it's really kind of a, you know, eight years later, it's, yeah. it's really exciting to be able to do all these, you know, different things with a lot lower cost and, you know, not having to carry around a 65-pound box of aluminum. So yeah. anyway, we're really yeah, excited about it. Very cool. I know it was announced last week. Um, availability and uh, pricing, what's that going to look like? Uh, we are, uh, certainly this spring, we'll be releasing it. And hopefully sooner than later, we're going to begin our stress testing. So we really have a good idea of what media types and how many different media types you can play on the various types of machines that are, that are available. Uh, so you can kind of get a good idea of what to expect. But again, the great thing is because it is sold uh, on a per license basis and um, it's just software, you know, you can experiment and use it on one machine, but as your standards change or whatnot, it makes it very easy to move to another, so yeah. as you would with any software. Yeah. So Very cool. And if you want to learn more information, you can visit your website. Yes, sir. RenewedVision.com. And uh, we've got information just as a teaser about Pro Video Server up there now, but perhaps by the time you're actually looking at this, we'll have even more. So. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks, Brad, for uh, being here and showing us that. And uh, My pleasure. visit their website, pro, uh, renewedvision.com, see the new uh, uh, Pro Video server, as well as all the other great stuff, ProPresenter, and all the other good stuff that you guys are doing. So, great. Yeah, awesome. Thanks a lot.